Hello folks. Again, I want to be brief and I have several things to talk about. Uh, I think the article was in German talking about Somalia. They had a person with symptoms, but they haven't tested positive yet. Uh, they're bringing a patient to Omaha, Nebraska, apparently. That's only a couple of hours away from me, folks. Uh, again, the latest numbers, I believe, official are over 1,900 deaths. That'll be updated next week. Unfortunately, expected to be hundreds more deaths. Again, the six nations in Africa remain the same. Uh, what has to be done, besides the brush fires, like I said, where, like in Congo, you get a few dozen people infected. You have to knock those down, and then I think the three main countries, uh, like Liberia, have to be uh, isolated, and that's going to happen probably. Doctors have thought that's going to happen in September, October time frame. I don't know. Uh, again, early next year, it could be approaching 100,000 infected. These reports are delayed. Uh, a note on ZMAP, I wanted to get into that. Uh, I keep hearing different numbers and the doses per month, and it's a very small number going to be available. And I don't even know if that has to be divided by three, uh, up to three doses per person. But uh, it's worked with less, I know. Now, what's the efficacy or the success rate with that? It's hard to say yet. If you take two-thirds of the people die who get infected with Ebola, then that means one-third will not. So that means about a third of those treated would have been okay already. And it's not 100%. It looks like it's well over 50% effective, but again, the doses, you're only talking at best a few dozen folks a month can be treated successfully uh, with a Z-map. That's not very much. And again, I want to keep these uh, short. Uh, watch Twitter for stuff. Watch my Twitter. I do some. I'm doing less. My Twitter account is under attack. Um, I want to keep these short and do highlights, and you should investigate and look further yourself. And I'm going to say from Iowa early Friday morning, good luck, folks.